What's good, y'all? It's your boy KC Notes. And today, it's gonna be kind of a different video. How do you find your sound as a producer? They said the greatest challenge is not only finding your sound, it's when you find your sound, you lose it. So the first thing you wanna do to help aid in the journey of you finding your sound is to make thousands of songs. And I mean songs after songs and beats after beats just produce bro and i don't mean just producing like with the goal in mind sometimes you just got to get in that flow state and flow just produce just make anything with any sound and just let it free so the first thing you want to do is get that repetition in just make thousands of songs you'll be surprised what comes out of inside of you pause so the next tip is that you want to use sounds and gear that no one else uses a lot of times we get caught up in trying to sound good like industry so we imitate people that we like but here's the thing you probably have enough beats if you that you've imitated from someone so it's time to find your own sound time to step outside that box of being comfortable and making stuff that you know people are gonna like because everyone's doing it it's time to be different so for the remainder of this video, I'm going to cook up a beat with this free plugin from Ample Sound. It's a hand pan. And it's a little different. I don't hear much people making beats with this. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's different. Just challenge yourself. Here's a challenge. Try to cook up a beat a day. That's so easy. A beat a day with a sound that is way different. Something you've never heard before. The next tip is kind of ties into the last one but it's make your own you gotta have your own personals your own personal presets your own personal sounds here's what you have a mic you have a phone i want you to start making your own drum kits your own sounds you don't have to use them in every beat but i swear bro just try to be different you never know what can come out of this you know what i'm saying i don't care if you make a clap and it sounds like booty and you gotta use it you're gonna find a way to make it sound good and later on you might tweak it maybe years down the line everyone's using that clap and you got to tell the story of how it was made so don't be stuck in a box everyone's doing the same thing i gotta repeat myself everyone's trying to do the same thing we all using the spins we all and don't get me wrong you gotta use it sometimes it's fire but you i'm pretty sure you have enough beats that sound like that so it's time for you to step outside your comfort zone and try to be a little different so the next tip is draw beyond your own genre mixing genres can create your own style and you can discover your own style from doing something through that so let's take this for an example i'm not saying it's exact but let's just take this in mind we can say that pierre born he uses most like a retro synthy and he mixes it with trap and we got wheezy he mixes like a native like flutes and sounds with another like trap rap and we can also say all these producers just mixing genres and make them sound amazing you can say pyrex and 808 mafia they mix an orchestral sound and they put a trap beat up, a trap bounce on it you know what i'm saying so you can discover your own sound by mixing genres go out and explore listen to rock listen to all genres you don't know where you're gonna get inspiration from but some crazy stuff can come out of it that's how you get better as a producer just listening to everything you you won't know where to take inspiration from if you only know one thing so i challenge you to listen to different genres different songs even if you hate it you're like what did they do in this just just try to dissect it right and in the end it'll make you better and the last tip i know it's kind of cliche you probably hear it a lot but you gotta enjoy the process a lot of times we're just so focused on yo i got these fire beats i want somebody to rap on them but during while you're making these beats you need to have your head bopping, you need to be smiling, you need to enjoy the process. Looking for these sounds, you gotta be, ooh, if you ain't jumping up when you find a crazy sound, bro, you're not involved enough in the process, so I want you to enjoy the process. Now, before we hear what I cooked up with this hand pan ample sound, I wanna give you a little practical call to action, because a lot of times we have these videos and they talk, and there's nothing you can practically do at the end of the video to say, okay, this is what I should do, clear direction. So here's what you're gonna do. I'm just gonna list it out. Make sure you're cooking up every day. Thousands of beats. You wanna get a lot of beats in. Challenge yourself to make sounds. I want you to go out every day and make a new sound and put in a folder that is yours. If you have a mic, you have a phone, you can make textures, you can make sounds. Start creating your own folder from now so your future you can thank you, right? I want you to try new plugins that no one's using. 
find a sound do stuff with plugins no one's doing find sound plugins effect plugins no one's using and use them there's a lot of free plugins out there you can use I'm, i promise you you can find some sounds and lastly enjoy the process and make sure you keep mixing genres and trying new things just build something new start deferring from the usual and get into a new lane because i'm pretty sure you got a lot of fire beats but the thing is no one wants another mira no one wants another jetson because they got them there already they're still alive no one wants another wheezy he's still here you understand they want a new you they want to hear your sound so bring what you got to the table and leave your mark in the industry bro i'm out let's take a listen to this beat now crazy, crazy that shit wait.